We're so excited. We, we have a first timer in the studio <laughs> with us today. And she knows everything is riding on this segment. Everybody, we're going to celebrate Hispanic Heritage here. And we have a great, great, delicious meal for you here that we're going to prepare. Because um, if you're looking for some great recipe ideas, Kitchen Spice is where you need to go. You can check this out. Healthy Latin and Caribbean cuisine. And of course, you can't celebrate without the culture without celebrating some of the great food. That's right. And it's brought to you by the winner of the culinary competition show, Hell's Kitchen All-Star. She is joining us right now. Please welcome author and executive chef, Ariel Fox. Ariel. No pressure. Don't listen to this guy right here. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I, I can tell. I can see your confidence. I'm feeling good about it. And this, I'm feeling good about it. It smells amazing. Tell us what we're cooking today. So we're making a chicken picadillo, which is a classic Latin American dish made with ground meat. Uh, I've done a couple things here to make it a little bit healthier, nothing too crazy that it, we lose our flavor. But we're going to um, start with sauteing some aromatics. That's, of course, going to be our onions and our garlic. Right. And I pre browned my ground chicken. Ground chicken, right. um, We always want to pre brown our meat before we saute our vegetables. Good it's deal. basically the Maillard process, it's called. Is which that is, green peppers right there? Uh, yeah, these are poblano peppers. Poblano peppers, okay. But we have pre sauteed our chicken so that we can get that flavor in the pan before we add our onions and garlic and peppers. This is a Peruvian dish, correct? Uh, well, there's a different version in all different countries. This version is a little bit more of my Caribbean version, okay. um, which is why we're adding um, some allspice is gonna give it that flavor as well. Mm. I have a little bit of cumin. And then of course, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, you can't make anything without salt and pepper, which is stuck in my... Now, you, you said this is a healthier version. How, how did you make this one healthier? Okay, so I've started off with, instead of a canola oil or a vegetable oil, I've started off with a coconut oil. I have also um, used ground chicken, which has a little bit less fat in it than if you were using a traditional ground beef. Uh, and then also, we'll talk about the sauce when we get down there. So we're gonna let that saute down, and we're gonna move down here. So once you get that nice, and you oh, can wow. see ah. all the spices have kind of cooked down How into the onions. How long did you onions. let it cook to get it look, to look like that? This will actually really only take about five to seven okay. minutes on a high heat. So we've got all that flavor. You're smelling that allspice. You're smelling oh, that cumin great. coming through. We've been smelling it for the past three yes. seconds. Yes, yes, we are studio. hungry. <laughs> so now we're gonna take that lovely uh, pre-roasted pumpkin and add it back to the pan, along with our ground chicken that we already cooked up. And again, you can have these pieces done ahead of time so that you can just throw this together when you get home from work. Yeah. Careful, first we're gonna deglaze it with a little okay. secret sauce, which is uh, tequila. Oh, which oh, I, I, I poured you guys a couple shots just oh in case you want to partake. <laughs> Careful, back up just nope. in case you get you a little- You should've led with that, <laughs> After the show, after the show. <laughs> So once that alcohol cooks out, we add in our tomatoes, our capers, our olives. olives. Go ahead and get Yum. in there. And then you just let that cook so down great. for about right. another five to seven All minutes. Right. Then we've got the sauce, Then we've right? got our sauce, which is actually how I've swapped it out is making it with a little cashew crema instead mm -hmm. of mayonnaise. Okay. Uh, I don't eat mayonnaise, but basically you can soak cashews overnight uh, in water and then blend them to make a cashew crema. So we're gonna add a little garlic, a little serrano chili with the seeds removed so it's wow. not too spicy. A little oh. avocado. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's this? That is a ají amarillo. It's a paste, a Peruvian paste. You were about to say that, weren't you? Oh, that's what I was going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Very delicious, not spicy, full of flavor. We're going to put that in there. This is lime juice right here. Go for it. Put it All right, right in there. Put it in. We're going to add some cilantro, a little salt and pepper. Yeah. Olive oil. And then we're going to blend it back up. And that's actually avocado, avocado oil. oil. There, there you go. go. And yep. we end up with this. Vinegar. And, and you end up beautiful. with this. Throw that in there. Yum. Throw the top on. We're going to give it a little blend. Uh -huh. Salt and pepper. Perfect. And so then we have the finished dish right here. And correct? we have the finished dish. So I like to serve it with uh, over a bed of cauliflower cilantro rice. Oh, and you have our picadillo great. and, of course, our green ají verde sauce. Uh, I often, uh, traditionally in Latin America, will be served with some hard-boiled eggs, a little squeeze of lime juice, and some fresh cilantro. Gorgeous, flavorful, it smells amazing. Ariel Fox, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Kitchen Spice, now available everywhere books are sold. Spice Kitchen. Oh. Spice Kitchen. Okay, it's Spice okay. Kitchen. We can take Kitchen Spice. What wow. Ariel said. <laughs> Don't listen to me. For today's recipe, go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food or scan the QR code that is on your screen right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.